Hello, welcome to Maker's Technical Support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will show you how to use the MRCT to test current transformers connected on a circuit breaker. Let's get started. When testing current transformers on the bushings of a circuit breaker, it is important to verify the polarity markings on the CT before starting the test. Typically, the polarity of current transformers connected on a circuit breaker lead away from the circuit breaker as shown here. In the, if the circuit breaker can be closed for the testing, then simply connect to H1 and H2 bushings and perform your test. In this test, CT1 will have proper polarity and we could use the same connections to test CT2, but the result will come out with the polarity inverted. In order to avoid the wrong polarity, we could swap the high voltage leads at the breaker. In this case, the polarity of CT2 will be correct after the test. Another option is to leave the connections as they are and use a little known feature in ITMS known as simulated primary lead swap. By selecting this on the nameplate information of the current transformer, we are asking ITMS to simulate the lead swap for us. This will introduce a 180 degree change in the polarity. If the circuit breaker is open, we no longer have a clear path for the measurement of the voltage induced on the primary by the voltage injected on the secondary. We need to either create the path or find it somewhere on the CT. One way of creating such a path is passing a cable through the CT. If that is possible, then we would connect the primary leads to that cable or wire. We can do this for every CT on the breaker. If inserting a cable between the CT and the bushing is not possible, don't panic. It is always possible to test the CT. We can use for that the fact that the voltage induced in the primary of the CT can also be measured between the bushing and the shroud. Since the shroud is grounded through the tank of the CT and on the MRCT H1 is grounded during ratio tests, then we need to invert the connections and use H1 to shroud and H2 to the bushing. With this connection, we will get the wrong polarity during the test, for which we should use the simulated lead swap mentioned before. Once you have finished figuring out the connections, remember that you can perform concurrently a full set of tests using the MRCT, as you can see on the accelerated version of the tests shown here. When the tests are finished, you can review, edit, and deliver the resulting NERC compliant report. This concludes our video on how to use the MRCT to test current transformers connected on a circuit breaker. Visit the MEGA YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.